send me away. Don't even look at them. They're disgusting. Are we are we kidding? Take them now. Oh, we're gonna go. <laughs> I, I'm tuning my horn here, but my tan game, I'm 100. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Um, it's not even a joke. I'm serious. Um, I oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hello, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I filmed. Oh, it wasn't two days in a row. Sorry. It was um two times this week. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, hi guys. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as a sub by the title, we'll be playing with some Dollar Tree makeup. Oh my gosh. Um. Yeah, so if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get started. I am shook to the core. If you guys don't know, if you've been living under a rock, like I have, honestly, um, Dollar Tree upped their price to $125. Nothing is a dollar anymore. Everything, well, actually, it's a lie. No, no, it's not a lie. I believe most things went up to $125. I know I bought a card the other day, though, and it still was $0.50 cents for, like, one of the little, like, birthday cards or whatever. Um, so there's that, but most, their price is no longer a dollar, it's one twenty-five, which is not, doesn't seem like that much, but like the one day I went in there expecting to spend like $20 and I spent like 30 because like, <sighs> tax and then, like there's a lot, and then the 25 cents, it's a lot, so, um, be prepared y'all, but anyway, they also upped their makeup game, bro, we got Believe Beauty, Flower Beauty, Milani, and more Milani and some Rimmel. It's not a full face. It's not a full face of Dollar Tree makeup, but it's um, some products that I just thought would be fun to test and try with you guys. So I already said, let's get started. I don't know where I was going with this. So let's actually jump in this time. Um, I do have a, what is the word? Obviously a collection of products that aren't from the Dollar Tree. Um, I did try to pick like, like kind of cheap products. Like I picked a lot of Essence products. If you guys are interested, all those products will be down below though as well. So um, there's also that. Dollar Tree had makeup for, uh, has always had makeup, but you know, they always did like the challenges were like $1 full face with $1 makeup or like Dollar Tree makeup because you know that it was going to be a bad video and so people knew it was going to be entertaining so they watched. Um, <laughs> and I've done a few in the past, like I'm not like, you know, saying anything about people who do them. I'm just simply stating the fact, um, because that's the truth. Um, <laughs> I need to like, oh my gosh, my eyebrows. Someone tried to tell, I was overhearing a conversation, this is so random, I was over here, I was overheard a conversation at Target the one day, and the girl's like, that's a lie, like, when you, um, people always say that if you, like, shave your arms, or shave whatever, like, if you wax whatever, um, get your, whatever it does, your hair grows back, like, worse, and that's a myth, that's a myth, that doesn't happen to me, and I'm like, girl, it's literally not a myth, look at my eyebrows, <laughs> It literally, they literally just grow back worse, and it's because you just, like, groom them, made them look all nice, and then they're, like, oh my gosh, everything is, like, comes out at once. It's so bad. Even my arm, I shaved my arm once, my arms once, never again, because they really did grow back worse. And I'm, like, don't be crazy, woman. Don't lie to this poor girl who's now gonna go get her whatever waxed. I don't even know what it was. And... Um, I think it was her eye, her arms, but either way, she's gonna go get her arms waxed and waxed, and it's gonna grow back, mad black. Um, so we're gonna first our first product from Dollar Tree. It's the Belief Beauty Skin Finish Tinted Moisturizer. Now I don't know how it works as far as like um, if the the products that go to Dollar Tree are like the discontinued products. I did know that some of the products that I noticed were um really deep shades. Um, they look like shades that like obviously not obviously, but like that are don't sell as much because they're super super deep like for the um really dark skin tones which is awesome because they get to try, try those products but if they make the same as like a tan skin tone as like a tan color it's not going to sell as much as because um i don't know why honestly they got the shade almond so they didn't obviously didn't have a whole array of shades they had like two shades and this one was darker this is a lightweight tinted moisturizer that even skin tones and blends easily easily leaving with a natural looking flawless finish and that sounds amazing i've heard such good things about um wow okay <sighs> about dollar tree makeup so this color right here is what i thought it was well this is the color that just came out the tube so um <clears throat> that's not my color why did they do that i'm confused is this why they freaking are at dollar tree because that makes no sense Okay, 
we're just gonna go in with it i'm using a brush oh my gosh okay oh my gosh oh my gosh okay what do i do okay i really wasn't i really was genuinely like this is not gonna be a fail these are amazing brands like literally like excited and um, this is how they played me. And I intentionally, what's funny is that this like little square, this triangle looked darker than the other triangle. And so I was like, oh, like, um, this is the darker shade. It'll be closer to my skin tone. Not six shades too dark. Are we kidding? Who decided this is acceptable? This is why they're at Dollar Tree, probably. I don't know. Or Believe Beauty's just selling these freaking tinted moisturizers like this and trying to play people. <laughs> Although it's cool, I was thinking, I was looking for foundations um, to, I'm sorry, I told you guys in, I think I told you guys in my last video, I'm trying to start my website soon. Um, and so I bought, I mean, I'm looking to buy some foundations for my kit. And um, I really want to get, I really want to stock up on the Oma um, Flawless Skin Perfecting Foundation because it really just is one of the best. Um, but, you know, then I could throw this one in here, in there, because it looks pretty. <laughs> It looks so pretty. It's like a nice skin finish. Um, it really is just like, oh my gosh, it looks so crazy. Oh my gosh. It really is melting into the skin. I have to go maybe do some research online before I go back. Because for a dollar, if this is your shade, bro, this is so beautiful. Honestly, it reminds me of the Tarte Mayor Jacuzzi Tinted Hydrator kind of deal. Where it's just like light, nice coverage, melts into the skin kind of vibe. I look like an Oompa Loompa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see if this helps us out a little bit. Okay, so that was a, a win, a 50, a 50, a 50% 50 win. So the product itself, really, really nice. The color here and the, um, yeah, that was a bust. I don't know why they did that because they really played me. And I'm sure lots of people were like, oh, this is not my shade. I really, I genuinely thought it was going to be too light for me is the T-cyst. Um, and that's what made it worse. But, you know, whatever. It's all good. I'm just going to take... Um, this brush, Iron Man here, and we're gonna go in. This is the Rimmel. So anyway, so sorry, I keep going back. I keep going back and forth. So um, if you find it and you look up your shade first, I would do that. Look up the shades first, um, because so far it's really pretty. It's just the wrong color. Anyway, next is Rimmel London, the Insta Concealer and Contour Palette here. So it has a highlight, illuminator, concealer, and contour. The highlight, I'm just gonna swatch them because I want to make sure. They actually are really, really creamy. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. This is the highlighter. This is the conceal. And this is the contour. Which the contour wasn't supposed to contour me. Um, wow. It might be a highlighter on this color skin. I didn't want the contour to contour. I just knew that I, I'd be able to like finesse and make it. So I think we are though going to mix the contour shade and the conceal shade. And just stick that under the eyes for now. Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. Down the center of the nose forehead and other eye okay wow so it actually is blending out really nicely I'm actually just going to take my um, brush here and dip it in that conceal shade mix a little bit of both here and just kind of blend it in with the foundation here Although, wow, this formula is nice. It's not heavy. It's not cakey. It blended really nice under my eyes. They look nice. Um, it's not super full coverage, um, but it is a nice, like, medium kind of coverage here. I'm, wow, I'm impressed. This is actually, <laughs> this is actually super nice. I'm in shock because, like I said, like, when you do these videos, you have the intention that it's going to be fun and entertaining. At least you did back in the day. But when I saw some of these brands, I was just kind of like, there's no way these, like, are super, super bad. Like, they might be the dud of the brand, but there's no way that they're, like, terrible, terrible because they're good brands. And usually, you don't even see these brands at Dollar Tree because they're too good, if you will. Um, so, this is was fascinating. And she actually looks kind of good. It did help the Oompa Loompa face a little bit. What's crazy is that I probably could wear this in the summer is what's actually mind-boggling. It's like I probably could get that dark. I probably could. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set my under eye with the powder that just flow all over my face. 
this powder isn't usually like it's not super whitening it really does translucent but i'm gonna really pack it really is translucent it's the shop Miss A. sorry it's the aoa studio perfect press finishing powder i'm just gonna really get it on there so that it does like add a little bit of lightness to my face okay now for the fun stuff um don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. Um, <laughs> first, I wanted to talk about, this is the LA Colors Highlighter in the shade Shine Bright. I have had this for a while. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, I don't use it too, too much, but I use it enough, and it is such a blinding, beautiful highlighter. I need to use it more. It's just because it was a dollar, and, like, some are so, I have so many good ones that are, like, more than a dollar. I'm like, okay, we'll just let that one wait. But, like, ugh. this one is so pretty. It's so beautiful. I think Juicy Jazz talked about it on her channel. And I think my friends ended up giving to me this as a gift. And then I was like, oh, honey, like, look how just stunning she is. So, so beautiful for a dollar. It can't go wrong. I like colors is a very hit or miss brand. A lot of their products are like, girl. other products are like this one that are like, oh my gosh, yes. And you're a dollar. Absolutely. 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 Um, next we're going to go in with, oh, 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 we're going to have some fun. This is the Milani Fruit Fetish Stay Put Bright Liquid Eyeliner. Um, now, I have the neon green one. What is it? this one called? This is Kiwi and Real. Ki Kiwi and It Real. Kiwi and It. Kiwi. Kiwi. Kiwi and It Real. <laughs> Stupidest name I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, I have not heard good things about these liners. When they first came out... Um, people were just like, ooh, some of them were really good, some of them weren't. Um, but I thought I'd give it a go. It was a dollar. I'm assuming that this is why this product specifically was at, um, Dollar Tree, though, because I'm sure, like, um, obviously, Milani makes some money when people still buy them, even if it's a dollar. It's way less than these were originally, but they make uh, more than if they just threw them out. So I don't know how it works on the business side of it, but I'm sure that's the idea. These are mad little, though. Ooh, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. Um, I'm gonna have to speed through because there's no way we're talking through. I'm just gonna try to do a liner and maybe finesse and just do like a little guy here, but I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how this works just on a line in a line. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. It is not the most, like, it's a little bit patchy. Like, I'm definitely going to have to go back over it a few times. But it's not too bad, not too bad. We're going to try. Do I want to go all the way in? No. I'm just leaving it out here. Okay, let's try this side. Okay, so I can definitely see the problem with this. It's just not very, it's a little bit patchy, so you have to go back and fill it a lot, but like it's not, it's not like one or two coats will do it. It's like you have to go over a lot, and then you have to dip back into the thing a lot. It's just not a very, and then, ooh, it's drying down crackly. It's just not a very convenient product, so I could see what the, the what it is to not like about this, but that was fun and fresh. I've never done anything like it. So I think I'm going to do some neon accents here. Oh, super cute, super like out there kind of vibes. Let's see. We're going to go in with the Malvani, um, the Violet One Lash Primer. I've never tried this, and it was the dollar, so we're going to try it. I don't even use lash primers, really. So we're going to do one with lash primer, one without. Let me see a good mascara to test it with. Let's go with Oma Beauty. We're going to do this eye with lash primer. Ooh, what do I do? I didn't even read anything on this. Okay, it doesn't say. Let's just go, let's just use it, okay?
Ooh, it looks kind of cool. I'm gonna guess let it dry a little bit and do this eye with just the mascara here. Wow. It's, there's not a huge difference. I can tell closer up in a closer mirror. These do have a little bit more like volume to them. They're a little bit more, they're a little bit thicker, honestly. It's a little bit easier to get them clumpy though, so you have to be careful. But honestly, if you're looking to try a new lash primer, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Um, you can see of that angle, they look a little bit fuller, a little bit longer, a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can tell. They are a little more stuck together. These are a little bit more spread out. But like from afar, this gives a more dramatic eye. This one has a little bit more, like it's a little bit subtler. So it works. I think it did. I like it. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm impressed. It's so annoying. I just want like a fun eyeliner for like the three times that I want a fun eyeliner. And it's never enough to justify getting a fun eyeliner. The eyeliner is nice and crusty on my eye. But it looks so pretty from afar, and the eyeliner really popped. Um, we're going to go in with next the Flower Beauty. <sighs> what are you called? Ultimate Hydra Slick Ultimate Lip Butter. Sounds really cool. cool. I got the shade Naked Petal. Okay. It's very obviously a nude here. It might be real pasty nude. I am guess it now. We're going to see. But the packaging is so cute. Like, it does not seem like it should be a dollar, honestly. Let's just see. Let's just see. Oh, yep. She's pale. Definitely a color I'd pair with a darker lip liner. But it's super cute. The formula is real creamy. And if you're a lighter skin tone than me, and honestly, with the lighter my color foundation, it might look a little bit nicer. It just looks a little pale. I'm just going to go on with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2 and just add a little bit to contour my lips a little. It really is just like a lipstick, so I mean, honestly, I don't see what would be wrong with this. <laughs> Why oh, you wouldn't want to go pick it up for a dollar. Obviously, the color is probably not one that lots of people use, so that must be it. They like overstocked or something, but it's super cute, guys. I'm obsessed. I'm like really feeling myself right now. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, quick recap. The Believe Beauty Foundation, the Believe Beauty Foundation actually looks super pretty on. It is a little bit drier than I expected, but I think it was because I did really pack on the powder because I wanted it to lighten it. So that might be it too. Um, but I like this. I say if it's your shade, you find your shade, definitely Google the shade color, the name on here to make sure because I don't go by this. But if you like, if you, it's a shade that will work for you. I think it's a really nice like tinted moisturizer, especially for a dollar. Um, look at my, the back of my hand is just black. <laughs> um, the... A Rimmel, also a freaking surprise. It actually was really good. It looks a mess because I stuck my foundation brush in there. But it actually is, actually is really nice. My under eyes look nice and they don't look crepey or dry or anything like that. They look like almost skin-like and they look really, really nice. I'm impressed with this as well. I was shook to the core. The highlighter I've tried for a really long time, so I just wanted to re-mention it. It's a really great highlight highlighter, especially for a dollar. Cannot go wrong. Um, I would skip the Milani unless you're trying to like do something fun like like I just did. Just use it once and that's it. Um, because it definitely, yeah, a little dry and crepey. Um, but and not super easy to use but not super hard. I like the idea they have going on here because that's like a sponge almost. It's not quite a brush and it's really nice but like it just doesn't hold the product quite the way you want. The light is, the sun is going down. Sorry. It doesn't, um, let's see. Whatever. It doesn't quite hold the product the way you want it to on the and then it doesn't put it on the eye as nice as you want it to either. So it's a little bit of a catch, like it's a little bit of a a hard thing, but they have a good idea of going. So I like it. If you're gonna if you wanna jazz up one look or something, definitely go for it. <laughs> and I really did like the um eyelash primer. It looks nice under my mascara, and that's good to know because I do, you know. I obviously try out makeup, I mean, uh, mascaras and stuff for you guys, and if I find that I don't like it, but I bought it, um, it's a nice one to just, like, you know, throw on underneath quick, then use that one, just so that in combination, they create a nice mascara. 
sorry, this thing is going all over the place in my screen, I mean. But um, I like it. I, I did enjoy it. And then, of course, I really enjoyed the lip products. It's really cute. It is too light for me. But with the lip liner, it looks pretty. I think it's a it's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> and it's Flower Beauty. Flower Beauty is, like, kind of expensive sometimes. So um, I would get yours while you can. Get yours while you can. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Um, let me know what you're picking up from the Dollar Tree. Are you going to grab any of these products? Have you grabbed anything? Is there anything I should keep my eye out for? I did forget to mention, actually, I didn't try them. I have the Ioni lashes that Juicy Jazz talks about, too. I, ever, I, I, whatever, that she talks about, too, that I forgot to try. I think I tried once or something like that, but um, I have to try those, too. Those are from um, Dollar Tree as well, which is, like, crazy, but... Anyway, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, let me know down below what have you been trying from, have you tried anything from the Dollar Tree? Are you going to be picking any of these things up? And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.